This is one seven. This is one seven. All right. Uh, I'm going to use that program, that geometry program thing, because some of the pictures on here are pretty crazy. And um, oops, not chapter seven. What am I doing? One seven. One seven. It's like wow, we're moving quick. Chapter seven already. One seven. That's what I want. We're on chapter seven science. You're in chapter seven in science. Did you do one through six already, or you just skipped up to it? Okay. All right, here we go. This is three-dimensional figures. So we did two-dimensional figures um, yesterday. So we talked about area and perimeter. So what do you think we're going to talk about when we talk about three-dimensional figures? Surface area. Okay, we could. Yeah, surface area. One of the things. Look, these are three-dimensional figures like this. It's not just a flat surface. Two-dimensional figures would be a flat surface. These things right here would be a three-dimensional figure. Okay, they've got length, width, and height. Okay, they come at you, right? It's three dimensions, right? 3D. That's what we're talking about there. So this is the kind of stuff we're going to talk about. So you could, um, yeah, you could find surface area. You could also find what? I think I heard somebody say it earlier. Volume, volume right. Volume. Okay, find the volume. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see the different types of solids. Okay, there's different names for these. Some of the names... I don't really care about, um, but these names right here on this first screen are important, and I think they uh, are ones that we want to learn. Let's take a look at this. This uh, right here, and I'll show you these little blocks. Show you. Now you can't, if you watch this on YouTube, you won't be able to see the little blocks, but you see the picture here. All right, so a prism. Um, it's a polyhedron, okay, which they uh, they talk about that on page, let's see, uh, 67 if you want to see it. It says, a solid with all flat surfaces that enclose a single region of space. Okay, so it's a solid with all flat surfaces. All right, that's a polyhedron. And a uh, prism is one of those things with two parallel congruent faces, which means something like this. Okay, this could be considered a, a prism because the top and the bottom are parallel to each other. Just think of the top and the bottom exactly the same and they're flat. You got it? All right, just in normal people talking, you know, instead of these crazy words. All right, so uh, two parallel congruent faces called bases connected by parallelogram faces. So basically, look, you've got the top and you've got the bottom. We call them both bases, even though a lot of times we think about it just, you know, whatever it sits on is the base. But look at the base. The bottom of this and the top of this is exactly the same, isn't it? Let's find another prism. This would be considered a prism because look at the top and the bottom. It's exactly the same, isn't it? So the top and the bottom, if they're exactly the same, if it's flat on top and bottom, um, then basically it's a prism. You got that? And there's a crazy prism down there. How many sides is that? One, two, three, four, five. Then it's probably a pentagonal prism is what they would say. Why that crazy word pentagonal? Where does that come from? Pentagon, pentagon. right. Yeah, because it's five sides, right? So the base is a pentagon, so we call it a pentagonal. What, do you, what prism do you think we'll call this block that I'm holding in my hand right now? Triangular prism, right? What do you think I would call this one? Look at the base of that. Okay, I call it a, well this is, it's a, it is a rectangle because it's right angles right here, so I'd call this a rectangular prism. Make sense? So they're all prisms, but it just depends on what kind of prism depending on what the base is. Everybody got that? It's pretty easy. All right, let's talk about a pyramid. What's the difference between a pyramid and a prism. Look, this is a prism, and look at the base of this. This base is a rectangle, isn't it? Everybody with me? Jacob, you with me? Get your head up, please. Thank you. All right, so the base of this is is um, is a rectangle. What's the base of this thing? That's a rectangle as well, isn't it? But look at this one. All the sides go straight up. They go parallel, don't they? Or they're perpendicular to the base of this thing. So it's flat on the top, flat on the bottom. What about this? It's not flat on the top, is it? Right, it comes to a point. Right, exactly. It comes to a point, and it comes to, and what do we call that point? The vertex, that's right. So pyramid is a polyhedron again. It's a polygonal base, which means the base could be anything. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. Let me find another one. I got one in here somewhere. Dump all the oats. There we go. All my little toys here. Uh, I know I have a, another one. Oh, here it is. Yep. Look at the base of this one. What's the base of this one right here? It's a triangle. Okay, so this is a triangular what? No, not a prism. Comes to a point, so it's a what? It's a pyramid. Okay, now this one in the picture, that's what's the base of this? Base of that is a rectangle, isn't it? So that'd be a rectangular prism. Thank you. 
All right, you guys are going to have to uh, either talk to somebody else in the class about the homework or um, look on YouTube, and I'll say it on YouTube. Uh, you have to go right now? I've got 10 minutes. You can't wait 10 minutes? Okay. All right, so anyway, look at This is a pyramid. This is a pyramid, but there are two different types of pyramids because this base is a rectangle, and this base is a what? It's a triangle. So triangular prism, or pyramid, sorry and a rectangular pyramid because it comes to a base, all right? Prism, it's what? Flat on top and bottom, got it? So the top and bottom are the same. The bases are the same. Do you see that? Base, base. Look at this. This just has one base, and what's the top of it? It's a vertex because it comes to a point, a pyramid, right? You go to Egypt. You see these things, don't you? The ones, that, I don't know. I've never been to Egypt. Anybody been to Egypt? <laughs> okay, I see them on TV, though, don't you? So watch. I think the ones in Egypt, aren't they rectangular bases? Yeah, yeah, I think they are. So rectangular bases, it comes to a point. All right, that's a pyramid. Everybody got that? Even if the base is a triangle and it comes to a point, it's still a pyramid. Let's go rounded now. Now notice, these are not polyhedrons. Polyhedron, it says all the surfaces are straight lines, okay? All the line, you know, everything's a straight line right here. But look at this. Look at the cylinder. See, it even says not polyhedrons. You get it? A cylinder. I got a cylinder. Here's a cylinder right here. Look, it's bottom and top is the same so very similar to a prism isn't it Do you see that this is called a cylinder but look at it what is the base it's not straight edges now it's a circle the base of this thing is a circle so that's why we give it a different name we call it a cylinder all right but look at the top and the bottom it's still the same isn't it very similar to this prism the top is a base and the bottom is a base or the yeah the bottom and the top are bases, but they're the same exact figure. All right, it's not smaller, it's not bigger. They're exactly the same. Look at the sides of this thing; it goes straight up, doesn't it? What if we take one of those and take a circular base, but it all comes to a point? All the sides don't go straight up to another flat surface; they all come to a point. And I've got one right here. Okay, that's one right here. And this looks like what? You turn it upside down, you get yeah, you put ice cream in it, right? Ice cream cone, and that's what it is. All right, it's a cone. All right, so there you go. Or when I was a kid, we used to go to um, vacation Bible school, and um, that, the big thing was we get snow cones. And anybody have snow cones, right? Yeah. Basically, it's just ice, and you put this syrup on top of it. And but we loved it, man. I mean, we would spend. We didn't care how many hours we wanted to spend in vacation Bible school. We knew we were getting a snow cone at the end. And my parents usually worked at vacation Bible school, so I was always able to sneak a couple extra ones. But anyway, they came in those plastic or not plastic, those paper cups you ever see those and they're pointed at the bottom and yeah these cones like that so it's basically what it is it's a cone all right um, so there we go it's a solid with a uh, circular base all right to be a cone the base has to be a circle and it comes out to a single vertex everybody see that all right so right now we're just learning the different types of solids what about a sphere Okay, or just a ball. You just happen to have one right here all right so that's a sphere if you take a look at that if you cut this right down the middle and you opened it up what would it look like it would look like a circle wouldn't it it'd be a flat surface it'd be a circle all right so um so it's very similar to a to a circle the point that's right in the middle of this from there anywhere to the outside would be the same distance and that's what they're talking about okay so from where's my pointer there it is okay so there's the center watch that distance to here would be the same as that distance to here that distance to the top, you follow me? Very similar to what a circle is, but it's in three dimensions. Has no faces, edges, or vertices because it's all round, right? There's no beginning or end. There's no top and bottom or anything to that. That's a sphere. We good with that stuff? All right. Everybody got that? It's a lot better using this program because I wouldn't be able to draw these things as pretty as they do. So, all right, let's keep going. Let's see this. It says determine whether it's a polyhedron. Then I defend, identify the solid. Okay, so what is it? Is it, is it a polyhedron? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, identify what type of polyhedron it is. Okay, rectangular prism. Uh, name the bases. What are the bases of this thing? What is it sitting on? A. Sitting on a rectangle, right? So what is the rectangle? A, C, D, A, C, D B. Okay, and what's the other base? E, G, H, F. All right, let's see what they say. Oh, vertices. We forgot the vertices, but it's okay. The vertices are all the points, right? Every, all, where all the lines come to a point and all the edges. We could have gone through all that stuff, but I think you got that by now. All right, let's go. What about that one? What kind of thing is that? Here, we'll call this the base, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 
hexagonal. Cylinder. Okay. Well, it's not a cylinder because we use cylinder for what? It's a prism. Yeah, we use, this is a prism, okay, because it's got straight edges to it, all right? Cylinder, we only use it if it's rounded, right, and it's a circle base. This is not a circle base. It's a hexagon. So we call this a what? A hexagonal prism, prism all right? Um, the bases, you just name them. This would be the base right here, wouldn't it? Even though it's not sitting on that, it's basically... I don't have any. Yeah, I do. I got something kind of like it. Here we go. Look at this. Check this out. I got this thing right here. I don't know if there's. That's probably a. Here we go. This is probably six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there we go. We got one right here. Okay, that's a hexagon. And even though it's sitting like this, does that mean that's the base? No. It means this right here and this right here are the bases. You follow me? So if I wanted to name the bases, what would it be? K P O N. ML, all right, that, that hexagon. And then this one would be what? E, F, G, H, I, J. Good. What about the edges? The edges would be all the straight lines. So K, E, L, F, M, G, N, H. We can keep going, couldn't we? What about all the vertices? Just name the points, right? K, L, M, N, and name them all. That's easy. You got it. <laughs> all right. So there you go. It's a hexagon. It's a hexagonal prism. There's all the stuff that we just mentioned. Let's do another one. What's that thing? Okay, that's a cone, isn't it? Okay. Technically, we call it a right circular cone, but we'll just call it a cone because that's what they call it. All right. Um, is it a polyhedron? No. When it's rounded edges like this, it's not a polyhedron. Uh, name the base. What? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'd be interested to see what they call that base right there. I'm not really sure what they call the base. It's a circle. I don't know. Let's see what they say. Right, so T was at the bottom and W was at the top, right? So it's a cone, like we said. It's not a polyhedron. Okay, they call it circle T, right? So whatever the um, whatever the point is in the middle, right? That's how we name a circle. We name a circle by that point in the middle. Nico, you follow? Okay, up here then. Thanks. The vertex is where where it comes to a point, okay? And what was the letter where it came to a point? That was W. And now it has no faces or edges because there's no straight lines to it at all. Everybody good with that? Let's see what else we got here. All right, this is basically the same thing, except that's kind of weird looking, but what's the base? Probably a triangle, wouldn't you think? All right, so let's see. Boing, 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 right? <laughs> Add my own sound effects. What's this thing? Cylinder. Boing, boing, boing. Good, cylinder. Let's see what else we got. Now, again, this would be the base right here, wouldn't it? So it's a triangular what? Is it prism or pyramid? Prism, because both the bases are the same, right? It's flat on both of them. So let's see. There, yeah, boing, boing, boing. Good. All right. All right, that's good. We'll stop right there. We'll hit this uh, tomorrow. Okay, so this is what we'll hit tomorrow. Look at that crazy thing. Platonic solids. All right, that'll be it for today. And guess what? I'm not even giving you homework. Oh, I know. Say it again. Say it real loud so everybody on YouTube knows. <laughs> okay.